What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Monday. So I made it out to the show uh, Saturday, did the Frankfurt, Kentucky, about an hour and a half drive. Um, it wasn't a horrible show, and it wasn't like a great show. It was like one of those in-between shows. I mean, I will say this much. It was probably better off than me driving up to the Austin Flea Market again for like a minute's worth of coverage. But overall, I did make some pickups there. We'll go over those here shortly. Um, ran into somebody that sets up next to me at the other show in Louisville. We walked around. Um, really, if it wasn't for the one guy showing up late out there, I probably wouldn't have picked up anything. A lot of this stuff out there was uh, retail. Retail base cards, you know, stuff that was a lot of PSA 7s, 8s, 9s and stuff. Stuff that really didn't stick to me. There's one dealer you'll see in the video. He had a Cole Anthony NTRPA and stuff like that. But I don't think anybody at these shows are going to fork out that kind of money normally at them. Um, the only, like I said, the only thing I could say bad about the show was the location. The venue itself was hard to find. Even the guy that uh, we walked around for a little bit in there sets up next to me. Even thought it was hard to find. The parking was just really non-existent. Um, it would have made more sense to hold it off the interstate to where it was at a hotel. I don't know. Maybe they got the, you know this thing at a great price or something. No idea. But I would rather hold it off of something like that, the venue, than all the turns that I had to do off the interstate. I would say it's probably about 10 minutes off the interstate. And, I mean, you had to drive through some housings, and the next thing you know, there's like, boom, like one of them learning centers out of nowhere. <laughs> Almost like uh, going up against Randy Orton and getting RKO'd out of nowhere. Boom, there it is. All right. So let me go ahead and cut to the video, and I'll be right back, guys. I was actually sitting there looking for a gif of Randy Orton doing the RKO, but just couldn't find one quick enough for me to use. So I did do a pickup, and you guys seen the four cards there. I didn't pay sticker price even close to it on all of them. And what was funny is I don't even have the Kobe anymore. Um, I end up sending a picture to a buddy of mine that lives down here, a big Kobe collector. And he's like, mine, how much? So we talked on the phone. I told him what I paid reasonably for it. He gave me a couple bucks, you know, basically my gas money there and back type deal. Not only because we do that for each other and stuff like that there. So you won't see the Kobe. Sorry about that, guys. I, I thought I'd be able to hold it longer, but, you know, I stopped, had to stop at the uh, pet store for the pug to get some stuff. And boom, <laughs> you know, it just happened real quick. So this is the first one, Anthony Simons Prism. I don't know if it's considered the green or what on to it. I really didn't follow, pr or I'm sorry, Optic. Optic this year. I don't know why I just said Prism. But um, the auto, you could tell, not one of the best being sticker, of course. But, you know, 
Not bad. I mean, basically, this was a throw-in along with this. Alfonso Davies is out of Merlin Soccer this year. Just out of 175. Good potential to go get graded. Maybe SGC or something. I don't know. I did hear he had COVID. And I guess um, some people have, after COVID, do I don't want to say adopted, have now gotten some type of um, sickness or something afterwards where it's hard for them to do certain things or something. I forget what all it was. And I heard he might be a candidate of this. I'm not too sure. But again, it was just basically thrown in a deal. Finally, Cole Anthony. This is a really nice card from Certified, the Rookie Roll Call. Always like this pro, uh, this here from Certified. You really can't go off sticker with his auto, so boom. I'll probably grade this eventually. There is a little bit of whiting right here and down here. I think it's good enough to get a 9 from PSA, which is what I wanted on to it. Um, after selling the Kobe and these, I think I'm in for all three of these cards for 60 bucks roughly. So it ain't bad at all. So that's something I always t I try telling people. If you can get a good deal on something and, um, you know, you can pass that deal on to somebody else, even if you only make $10, $20, $30, whatever it may be on a deal, go for it. It's always a good thing to do. Off, I'll take it back. It was eighty dollars. I would have paid for all those. My math's off. My math is off. Tired from an early morning. Do apologize. Maybe make a couple bucks. Make a couple bucks, and plus, you never know. That person, you know, might look out for you and hook you up down the road too. Always try to leave a little bit of uh, leverage there on with some stuff on a table for people, especially you know people do eBay comps minus fifteen percent. What you get, all the you know crazy talk and stuff. And what else I learned through the years, if you just bundle stuff together, you can get some really good deals off people. They want to move. And they when you they see cash, I mean, it's straight there. They know you're serious on to it. But yeah, not too bad of a show. I mean, like I said, location, probably the biggest thing, parking. Um, lots of retail. I really wanted to pick up, there was a Cole Anthony Blue Shimmer out of 20 Contenders Optic. He wanted 1300 Tried, you know, the thing, oh, an SGC9 did 1500 type deal, but guess what? This ain't graded. And I didn't really take it out. I mean, if he had been more closer to 1000 to 1100 I might have thought more onto it. But I would have to look at the card to make sure that, you know, it's, you know, worthy. Uh, of me even getting because something like that you got to pretty much in my opinion slab it and that way it takes the mystery out of uh oh i don't know what this is going to grade type deal with a lot of people come around i mean it's not like it's a one -on one or out of five but yeah not too bad i mean got a few things um plus you know you get to go out talk to people and stuff like that i got to see if you guys haven't seen that new aew uh upper deck released uh cards Guy pulled the Sting Auto out of five. I was trying to get in there and sneak a picture of it, but there were just so many people kept flocking around there. I just figured it was time to bounce back and get some stuff done in, on the home front back here, of course. But, all right, guys, you guys have a good rest of the week. I'll come back with a few more videos this week. Um, show will be in Louisville next week. I am not set up for that one, but I'm going to go up there again as a buyer, see if we can find some... Uh, Different stuff, different stuff, you know. And my idea has always been this. If I can go to a show and buy raw that looks like it's going to grade pretty well and it gives me a little bit of a profit, more profit margin on I'm all about buying stuff. But then again, I don't want anybody to think, oh, I'll go out there and buy raw, buy raw, you're going to get great grades. I look through tons of raw at shows. And I'm talking, when I start going through like their 5 and 10 $20 boxes, I probably go through easily a 1,000 cards that I look at between those. Because you got to think some of them boxes have two, 300 cards into it, plus showcase stuff, and you do that a few times. And I might only see a few that catch my eye, if, if that offhand. Um, unless it's something that's like for me personally for PC, which is hard to find anymore. But... It's always, you know, good to go out. You get to talk to people, you know. And down the road, they might remember you. 
You know, they're like, oh, you're the guy who bought all the Jordans, or you know, he, you're the guy who bought bought the Sidney Crosby's from me and stuff like that. Hey, I got another Crosby. I've been looking for you and stuff like that. But I will plug the one guy's Instagram uh, at the very beginning of the video. You guys should have seen it on there in case anybody wanted anything out of that case, the Pokemon and stuff like that. You guys should get in touch with them. Uh, I don't think anybody else had anything on there to post for their video or for their contact. But all right, guys, I am truly out this time. I'll catch you all next video.